welcome to SubscriberNation.com, where you'll meet the creators behind amazing online video channels, sharing their stories, inspiration, and hottest tips, and helping you learn from their success. Welcome to Subscriber Nation. Today I've got Abby Feldman from Love Abby on uh, YouTube channel with me uh, from Boston. So Abby, can you tell us a little bit about you and about your channel? Yeah, I am a person that does comedy and I write and I do a lot of improv and I was actually cast to do Love Abby, even though that's all about me and it's centered on myself and basically what I do anyways, somebody wanted me to do that for them professionally. So I got really lucky. And uh, I basically make a web series where I give people advice using um, my infinite wisdom that I've developed over a series of life events that I think is useful, and I kind of hope people take my advice, even though it sounds funny and silly. I really mean it. Yes, and I, I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop in a little piece from your show of your advice so people get an idea of what your advice is like. It's hard to communicate, and the best way to do it is to not use words. Words confuse us all the time. Just convey with your feelings and your emotions what you would like to say. All I was trying to say was, can Ashley come over for dinner? Um, and people can judge yeah. how good your advice is um, based on they that. Can. They, can, they can judge it, but I can let them know right now that it's the best advice they'll ever get. So That's you can true. make a judgment, but it, why make your own when I'm here to do that for it's, you? It's pretty good advice. So, yeah. well, maybe you can talk a little bit more about how you started, um, like this whole process, because it's you're, you're kind of unique in, turn, in the world of YouTube. Um, basically, I... I started doing improv three years ago at Upright Citizens Brigade in uh, New York, and I loved doing improv. I still love it so much, so I'm really much. And um, then a year after I started doing improv, I started doing stand-up, and I uh, was going on auditions for acting, comedy, any kind of auditions. And there was this company looking to start a vlog on their portfolio of stuff that they produce, they were looking for a personality, and I've got the personality. And uh, they wanted me to host this show, and ultimately we decided on calling it Love Abby. I give advice. Uh, but it's basically me just improvising things about funny ideas that I had or something funny someone asked me that I wanted to talk about, and it's pretty simple. And then after about a year of doing it, a little bit less than a year, um, full screen, uh, got in touch with us and wanted us to start doing uh, our videos through their network and work at, I don't really know how that's helpful but it sounds important yeah I mean it's it's great to know kind of how how different people start in different ways so maybe you could tell yeah. us um, tell subscriber nation where you get your inspiration from I get my inspiration from the external and internal world around and inside of me so when I um, travel around my world in New York City, I or wherever I am right now, I'm in Boston, or if I'm in LA, or if I'm in South America, or Europe, wherever I happen to be, I'm like super aware, like a baby, like a toddler, I think. And a lot of people think that I'm on drugs, but I'm not. Um, I'm rarely on drugs, and when I am, I have really bad panic attacks. So. Um, basically I just am absorbing things all the time and I feel a lot and instead of going completely crazy, I like to talk about those things that I observe and I'll like to make connections between the funny things that happen, uh, around me or that come across my mind and I get inspired when I, when something makes me feel something. So if something makes me feel scared or something makes me laugh or something makes me cry or something makes me really happy, um, that will inspire me. I really like to talk to strangers a lot. Cool. Well, uh, living in New York City, I think that's a, it's a good spot for you to meet some strangers every day. Yeah. So Cool. So maybe you could tell us about a time that you learned from a mistake in your, you know, kind of uh, YouTube career or, or creating videos. Yeah. I don't think I've made any mistakes okay. because because even when you think it's a mistake, it, it works in your favor. 
because that's who you are. So I wouldn't change who I am now for anything. So clearly nothing's going to mistake. But um, I would say uh, I didn't realize that I could have so much power in my own career, I guess. I didn't realize that I could just make videos. I can write my own sketches and film them and I can do stand up every night of the week because I, if I want to and uh, host my own shows, if I want to, um, that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess I would like, if I could go back or something, maybe I would have told myself that earlier, but then maybe I wouldn't have had as many cool life experiences. Like I used to be a journalist and I worked at the state department in Madrid and like, Cool. Live with a bunch of weird Colombian guys, you know. So like, that was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so yeah. maybe, maybe you can tell us. Um, so you've had a really cool past. What's next for you? I'm writing a series right now that I'm really, really excited about, and it's based a lot on my life. It's kind of duality, where I'm a white American Jewish, like regular New York person. And also I speak Spanish and lived in South America a lot and have this kind of Latina side to me. And it's going to be a series that will hopefully be in taking place in two different continents in the U.S. and in South America. Sweet. Look forward to seeing that. Um, Can you tell us about one piece of equipment that you can't live without? I cannot live without my voice. I tune it every morning. I... No, I'm kidding, but I'm actually, I was saying that in an ironic way, but I'm, I'm actually, now that I say it, I think that's brilliant because um, your voice can mean a lot of things. And I think it's really important as a comedian and as any creator to, to honor your voice. And I don't think it's as important to know your voice and know what you're trying to say. Just know that whatever you said today was you that day and love it. And I do meditate a lot and I meditate every morning and I do like to chant or sing or do stuff related to my voice. So I guess those things really do cool. resonate with me. Very good. Well, you have a very nice voice, so we're, we're excited to chat with Thank you here. You. <laughs> very impressive. I won't try to replicate that. Well, let's, let's talk about money. Um, are you making money? Does this help you in your comedy career? Like, you know, how do you monetize this? How do you, yeah, how does that work? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think money is really passe, you know, I mean, I don't want to put a value on something that's priceless, you know, Mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, I do make money sometimes doing what I do. And that's really crazy when people give you money because so often I don't make money doing stand up or doing improv or doing web series, but the two web series that I'm currently working on, Love Abbey and Gringolandia, uh, Gringolandia, they do give me an amount of money. It's not enough money to live on. That's because I have incredibly expensive taste. But I do have a really rich boyfriend who pays for my Hummer lease. So we're doing really well. No, I'm just kidding. I don't make enough money, and I um, need to do that. I see. Cool. But it's good. I didn't. I didn't know that you were part of. Or I guess. She, I guess I did know that you were part of Gringolandia. So yeah. awesome. That's a very cool web series too. Um, yeah, and I. Um, and second season of that we're filming this month, and yeah, cool. just finished writing a few episodes. So look out for that. Very cool. Um, and I hope to have Gringolandia on the show. I'm sure I've already chatted with those guys, so they'll be on the show soon. Um, cool. Well, I guess why don't we wrap this up and you can just tell us how Subscriber Nation can find you. Yeah, well, the subscriber nation can find me at 153. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you can find me on my YouTube channel, Love Abby Show. You can also go to my website, abbyfeldman.com, and see new episodes that I'll be posting up there and also find my live shows in New York City or if I'm traveling. And yeah, and you can email me and let me know if you have any questions that you want advice to, or if you just have any compliments you want to give me, all of those are things that you can do. You can also find me on Twitter, on Instagram, um, all around. Abby Feldman is one account, and then Love Abby Show is another account. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us today, Abby. And uh, let's uh, say goodbye to Subscriber Nation with a little wave, okay? 
Bye, Subscriber okay. Nation. Bye, Subscriber Nation. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Let everyone know what you learned today in the comment section at SubscriberNation.com, where you'll also find more hot tips and resources. And if you aren't already a Subscriber Nation subscriber, click here. Click here to find another interview or here to see more from today's guest. Let me just pick the hair. Yeah. Important. Yeah, okay.